Yeah, yeah. I know. What you all really want to hear about the most. Are you ever going to finish the drag and drop feature for Lovelace? Well, now that I'm full time with Nabucodonosor. <laughs> Hello everyone, the title is not lying. I did quit my job in order to pursue Home Assistant as my full-time position. I will be joining the great team at Nabucasa on January 6th, 2022. And I want to thank Paulus, Brahm, and the whole team for giving me this opportunity. Home Assistant has been something I've been very passionate about for a very long time. My job has always kind of taken and put Home Assistant kind of at the back foot. And I wasn't able to consistently kind of grow my YouTube channel to grow my home automations in my own home or do anything of the sorts on the development of the front end. But now that I'm joining Abukasa to not only do stuff for the front end and Lovelace, but also to do stuff like what you're seeing now, YouTube content, I'll be posting videos here on the Home Assistant channel, on social accounts like Twitter, Facebook, etc. I'll also be working with Paulus and the team to make Home Assistant Conference better every year. And finally, just also trying to introduce more and more people to Home Assistant every single year. And if you don't know what Nabucasa is by now, then stick around to the end where I'll be talking about it as well as doing a giveaway for one full year of Nabucasa as we are putting together in February, the ability to do one year subscription. So look out for that at the end of the video. But I wanted to go over how I first started with YouTube really quickly in Home Assistant. And then we'll get into a little bit of the goals and stuff of, uh, of my uh, 2022 year. But first I, I did start YouTube and, and in the tech space a very long time ago with product review. Um, and I really got started on home automation using the X10 devices that were RF controlled and I had like a remote behind me on my bed. I could turn off all my lights and lamps and do whatever else. Fast forward a couple of years, about two to three years ago, and I had Google Homes and Philips Hue, but I wanted to kind of get deeper and deeper into that home assistant space. So I, I built um, a Raspberry Pi and got my first server. You know, and then I found the community. I found the ability to build my own custom cards. I wrote a core card, a gauge card, and. That, that review of that was pretty rough, but Paulus was very supportive, explained a lot about my code, and I just kept contributing more and more and more. And then Paulus, myself, Brom, Ian, Thomas, we all started coming together and building Lovelace. It was a new thing Paulus had started creating, and we kind of helped him get it over the, the finish line, building cards and editors and, and kind of what you see Lovelace as today. You know, these guys were really fun to work with and everything, and it's been very motivating being part of the Home Assistant community. Fast forward a couple months ago, and I got a message from Paulus. You know, do you want to join Nabucasa? Message that I've been looking forward to for a very long time. You know, I never thought it would actually come. It's been so fun working with all everyone, I couldn't say no. That's where we are today. Now let's go over a few different goals for the year you know the first one i want to talk about is my youtube channel the youtube channel you're watching right now that you should be subscribed to make sure to like as well and the one thing i really want to show on my youtube channel is the home building process that i'm going through now about a year ago i teased a video at a live stream of going over all of the ethernet all of the low voltage in my home we kind of stopped there you know, work took over i i didn't have time and now that I'm back, I can go through and do every video that I've ever wanted with that channel. Tell me what you guys want to see, but I have a few ideas from security cameras to home automation devices like alarms and door sensors and motion sensors um, to networking. What am I going to be using to do Wi-Fi 6 uh, all over the house? What is my office going to look like? You know, this is pretty bland, you know, but I'm, I'm keeping I'm keeping the posters. But we're changing the office completely in the new house and it's going to look amazing. A lot more color in the background, um, a lot of different stuff like that. Send me any recommendations. But yeah, so my YouTube channel definitely going to be growing. 
when it comes to building the front end, you know, no certain goals as this is a very community driven platform. I don't want to say any you know hard goals as things could change throughout the year, but definitely refining the front end experience, making sure that the user base can all utilize the front end as easy as possible. Also keeping all of that advanced functionality, keeping YAML around as much as we can, you know, being able to continue growing that UI space of the front end. For Home Assistant content on the YouTube channels, go ahead and follow Home Assistant. It'll be in the description below. Continuing the live streams that you see after every release, of course. New tutorials on new features, things that are coming out, old features that are very, very prominent today, as well as just going through each release cycle and going through all of the different notes all of the different features that you're getting in these new releases. I also want to start planning out more and more of the conference, getting it ready earlier and earlier every year, having more and more people involved. Online, of course, in person, maybe, no promises, you know, but making that bigger and bigger and a big staple in the community every single year. But now that we've kind of come to the end of the video, it's time to give away one year of Nabucasa which if you don't already know, it allows you to control your Home Assistant instance from anywhere in the world. So if you forget to close the garage door, don't worry, you can easily access your Home Assistant instance right on your phone. Your data is completely private between you and your Home Assistant instance. And Nabucasa makes it really easy to connect your Home Assistant instance with Google Home, Amazon Alexa, you know, making it a breeze to control all of your Home Assistant devices with your voice. To enter the giveaway, all I want you to do is down in the comments below, write why you like Home Assistant, why you like Nabucasa, you know, something down in the comment section below. And whenever this feature gets released in February, I will be drawing from all of these names in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed, but I will be going through the comments, putting them in a random generator and picking one person to get a full year of Nabucasa. But I'm excited to see what 22 brings us. And I'm excited to see what we all do together. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel, to the Home Assistant channel, to make sure you keep up to date with everything coming out. Thanks, everyone.